It was just complete chaos all the time. And I just didn't want that anymore. So it was either make a choice of keep going the way you're going or you're gonna die. I think I got drunk my first time when I was 12 years old. And I started using um, at the age of 13. So I started using cocaine at the age of 13 pot. Then I realized I really, really liked the feeling of it. I really liked the feeling of not feeling things. And when people talk about why they do what they do or whatever, I did it because I didn't want to feel. But I found like as I got older, I had a lot of loss in my life. That was the point where I'm like, I just can't do this anymore. I gave up being a mom, I gave up being a person, and I just really just didn't want to do this anymore. Didn't want to die, but I just didn't want to be me anymore. That's when things really got a lot worse. My children really suffered because of that. You know, they saw, they saw me go through quite a few things, quite a few abusive relationships. Um, you know, and they saw their mom, who was alive, die in front of them. And for that, I will, I'll hold that with me forever. I didn't think of that person as my mom. I saw her once and I was like, that's not my mom. That's not who she is. For a very long time, I was in denial about it, you know? I didn't want it to be true. I didn't want that to be the reality. And I, in a sense, enabled her because I didn't say anything. There were lots of times where she didn't come home until early hours. Some days she wouldn't even come home at all. I'd rather know that she was dead than not know where she was at all. That was where it was at points. You know, I put 110% into using. I would do whatever I had to to get my next fix, to get my next drink. I would do whatever I had to do. So why wouldn't I put 110% into my recovery? Once I had that mindset, man, the world just just opened up for me and doors opened up for me and and you know my I'm probably the best mother I've ever been and you know I have the best relationship with my girls today and I'm so grateful for that because they're both older right and they got to make that choice to either be in my life or not I'm their mom and I'm proud of that they're my reason I get up in the morning you know as the time passed we both kind of healed and now we're able to laugh about some of the stories <laughs> She doesn't feel bad for it, and I'm not angry at her anymore. As she's gotten sober or anything, I don't think I could have a life without my mom. Like, I think like she's part of it now. I did a lot of damage, and you know, they could have gone down the same path I went down. And it just makes my heart so happy. And they're just beautiful human beings inside and out. I love this one. That's yeah, I love that picture. I don't know if I could ever come back from this ever again. And I don't, I don't want to make my life a mess anymore. You know, I like my life and I love my life and I love where I am and I don't want to lose that. I love you guys so much. I love you too.